people who are charged with property crimes and theft crimes and a few other crimes who are guilty are often saved from potential prison sentences because of something called Alabama's sentencing guidelines. And the guidelines have a couple of parts, but they tend to be more, more generous than judges used to be as far as whether or not somebody serves a sentence in prison or out of prison. And they're designed, part of the reason for these guidelines is to help reduce prison overcrowding. But there's a new law coming out, and that law says that if a person exercises their right to a jury trial, the judge can disregard those guidelines. And that means that a person who goes to trial and is convicted can now find out that they have a much worse sentence than they would otherwise. Now, the federal system has already incorporated something like that. I'm talking about state law. In the federal system, if a person accepts responsibility and enters a plea, then they're kind of given brownie points and they have a lesser potential sentence than somebody who has not accepted their responsibility and goes to trial. And so what the state of Alabama has in their own way kind of copied this. And, and this has been something that's gone on in some degree for years. You know, lawyers talk about it and they say, oh, it's a jury trial tax. In other words, judges, if, if a judge thinks that you've wasted their time having a trial, judges often will make the person pay more than they would have if they had negotiated a plea. And so, you know, guess whose time gets wasted if he thinks you wasted his He's going to waste yours, and it's going to be a lot of it, potentially. And that's why so many cases in Alabama are resolved with pleas, because people are afraid to go to trial. At any rate, if you find yourself in some sort of a legal jam here in North Alabama and you'd like our help, just give us a call. The phone number is below. I hope you found this video to be educational and informative. Thank you for watching.